Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to take a look at Google's new beta feature inside of Google Forms known as Lock Mode. So before we jump into this, there are two things that you should know. This is still in beta and it's only being issued to districts that are using Google Apps for Education. So you do have to sign in with your Revis Gmail account to create the form and use Lock Mode. And number two, the student has to be testing on a district managed device, meaning if they go home to take this exam or a quiz and they're trying to use a Windows device or if they try to take this quiz or exam on an iPad, it simply will not work. They have to use a school managed Chromebook. And now this is relatively simple to set up, but I do want to take you through a couple steps. So let's go ahead and open up Chrome. And you can see I just have this sample quiz set up inside of Google Forms. It's only a couple questions and this is just for demonstration purposes. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come up to the settings in the top right hand corner. You're going to scroll over to where it says quizzes. We're going to go ahead and toggle this switch on and make this a quiz. And when I do that, you can see that lock mode on Chromebooks is now an option for me to turn on. And what it says is respondents aren't allowed to open tabs or other applications while taking this quiz. Respondents must take this quiz using a managed Chromebook. Perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and select that box to turn on lock mode and hit save. And then the form lets me know that lock mode is currently on and only respondents using managed Chromebooks can open this quiz. So what does this actually look like from the student side? Now in order for this to work for me because lock mode works so well I can't actually do a screencast from the student device it actually kicks me out so I have a camera set up here I apologize for the quality but because it has been set up through Google Forms, I can post this via Schoology, I can add this to Google Drive, or I can just email out the link, which is what I did here. So as a student, as I click the link, it gives me the title of the quiz, and then it lets me know that lock mode is on and that I won't have access to any other browser or applications while I'm taking this exam. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start the quiz. And then you can see the only window that I have open is the quiz itself. I can't press escape and jump out of the window. I can't scrub up to the top of the screen and try to open a new tab. I am physically locked in to this quiz. And the only way I can get out of this quiz is by completing the questions. Now I can exit this quiz and it lets me know that if you close the quiz, your response will not be recorded and that opening this quiz again will actually notify the owner of the file. I'm gonna go ahead and hit cancel and go through this really quick. I'll go ahead and hit submit. And as soon as I'm done with the quiz, it takes me back out of lock mode and I'm back to using my device like normal. Now, as the owner of the form or as the teacher of this exam, you can see that I have, I do have one response here recorded so I can jump over into responses. I can see the summary of all the questions or I can go to the individual student and see the questions as they are listed and also jump into the spreadsheet. So again, this is a look at Google Forms locked mode, and this is still in beta, so they're still probably working out issues, but I thought I'd share this with you guys because it's still a pretty cool tool and should hopefully give you a little bit of peace of mind when giving your exams. And that's been a quick look at Google Forms locked mode.